congratulations are in order for Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan Markle. When the Duke and Duchess of Sussex welcomed their first child, a baby boy, in the early morning hours of Monday, May 6, 2019, it seemed as though the entire world had chimed in on the exciting royal baby news, including Queen Elizabeth II herself. According to a statement released by the royal family via Instagram, the queen, who of course is Prince Harry's grandmother, is delighted with the news of her new great-grandson's birth. The former Suits actress's estranged father, Thomas Markle, told The Sun, in part, I'm delighted to hear that mother and child are doing well. I am proud that my new grandson is born into the British royal family and I'm sure that he will grow up to serve the crown and the people of Britain with grace, dignity, and honor." The British royals revealed that Meghan Markle's mother, Doria Ragland, is not only, quote, overjoyed by the arrival of her first grandchild, but is also currently with their royal highnesses at Frogmore Cottage. Markle and Prince Harry first revealed that they were expecting baby number one in October 2018. The royal couple famously tied the knot at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle just months earlier that May. After sharing her pregnancy news, Markle showed off her growing baby bump during a royal outing in January 2019, where she revealed that her first child was due in late April or early May. Rebecca English of the Daily Mail tweeted at the time, Meghan said she didn't know whether they were having a boy or a girl. She said she wants it to be a surprise. An insider told Us Weekly that Harry and Meghan's top choice for a hospital was their local Friendly Park Hospital, saying, "...it will be much less chaos and more of a private event than if she gives birth in London, at high-profile St. Mary's Hospital like Kate did." Back in April 2018, a media circus surrounded the arrival of Kate Middleton and Prince William's third child, son Prince Louis. While it's currently unknown whether Markle delivered her first child at the local hospital or at her Frogmore Cottage home, the royal family's recent statement did shed some light on her son's birth. It read, in part, "...her royal highness, the Duchess of Sussex, was safely delivered of a son at 5.26 a.m. this morning. The baby weighs 7 pounds, 3 ounces. The Duke of Sussex was present for the birth. Her royal highness and the baby are both doing well." It sounds like you won't have to wait too long to find out more about the British royal's newest member as the new parents stated via Instagram that more details will be shared in the forthcoming days. Meanwhile, Prince Harry himself personally spoke with the press outside of Windsor Castle on the morning of the birth. How any woman does what they do is beyond comprehension, but we're both absolutely thrilled. He went on to share that he and Markle are still thinking about names for the baby. The baby's a little bit overdue, so we've had a little bit of time to think about it, but um, yeah, we're still... That's, that's, the, that's the next bit." The Duke of Sussex noted that the family of three are expected to make their first public appearance together just days after the birth. As every father and parent would ever say, you know, your, your baby is absolutely amazing, but this little thing is, is, is absolutely to die for, so I'm just over the moon." We couldn't be happier for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Congrats again to the royal couple on their exciting baby news. It's been the most amazing experience I could ever um, possibly imagine. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.